Hi everyone, Kyle here from Bostic Family Light Show. We've been asked a few times how we get the vertical text to work on our column matrices, so I'm going to run through a quick video on how we got it set up. To get started, we dragged a matrix model to our layout. Our matrices are 6 pixels wide and 50 tall for a total of 300. The model data, or the model itself, is configured like this for our layout. We have one string, which means there's one input to the controller. There's 300 total pixels, and it is in vertical columns of six. We can go over to the sequencer and drag down a text effect. And then from here, we can type in whatever we want this to say. And you can see that by default, it is going from left to right. And we can only see the T here and part of the S over here. So the next thing that I usually do is I will come over to the effect right here and go to vert text down. And then now we can see it is starting to fill up our matrices, but we don't see the whole word. So from here, what we can do is we can add movement, and I usually use up, and this allows it to start scrolling up. We can see that that beginning T didn't look great. It looked like it was cut off. So we could do a couple different things. We could either make all of this capitalized, and then we can see that some of the other letters don't look great. So what I would do next is come over to the font, and we can pick different fonts and different sizes and see which ones look great for the words we're trying to spell. Depending on what you're writing, sometimes different fonts will look better than others for the different letters. So right here you can see that the E in New Times Roman is larger than the rest of them. So if we wanted to come in here, we could play around and try to find one that looks a little more uniform throughout. So if we did something like this one, we can see that it does look a little bit better. It looks a little more uniform. And then if we want, we could mix it up. We could add a couple different colors. If you want, you could add multiple colors. You could have you know, three, four, however many you want, and it'll just alternate the different colors per letter. You could also take this a step further. And if you add an additional layer, you could add something like an on effect or something like that so it has some background that it'll scroll over so you could do something like that and then you could get some you know christmas colors or whatever colors you want so you can get a nice effect like this if you guys have any questions Feel free to leave a comment or send us a message. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, go ahead and hit that thumbs up and subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.